Welcome to a JavaView online training video where I will be demonstrating different ways to select residues and sequences in JavaView. Hello, I'm Suzanne Deuce, the JavaView Training Officer at the College of Life Sciences in the University of Dundee. I've already opened JavaView. I will now load the Ferrodoxin sequence alignment from the PFAM seed database using the Fetch Sequence option on the JavaView desktop. The PFAM ID is PF03460. To select part of an alignment, I place the mouse at the top left hand corner of the region I wish to select. I press and hold the mouse button and drag the mouse to the bottom right hand corner of the chosen region. I then release the mouse button. A dashed red box will appear around the selected region. To clear the selection, I hit the Escape key. To select a single sequence, I go to the Sequence ID panel and I click the mouse on the sequence of interest. To select multiple neighbouring regions, I click the mouse on the first sequence of interest and then hold down the Shift key and click on the final sequence in the selection. To add individual discontinuous sequences to my selection, I hold down the Control key and click on the sequences of interest. I now use the Escape key to remove the selection. To select residues in the same column of all sequences, I go to the Alignment ruler and I click on the column I am interested in and this selects the entire column. To select several neighbouring columns, I can either click and drag the mouse across the columns of interest. Alternatively, I can hold down the Shift key and click on the first and final column in my selection. To add discontinuous columns into my selection, I hold down the Control key and I click on the columns that I am interested in. This adds the columns to my selection. The selected columns are indicated by the red highlight in the ruler bar. To clear the selection, I hit the Escape key. I can use the cursor mode to select residues and sequences. Enable the cursor mode by pressing either F2 in PCs or Function F2 with a Mac and the cursor will change its appearance. To navigate, either use the arrow keys or type in the coordinates. For example, to start at column 59, sequence 1, I would type 59, 1 return. I then mark this corner by pressing the Q key. Then to go to column 65, sequence 8, I type 65, 8 return. I then mark this corner by pressing the M key. The selection has now become active. The selection can be treated in the same way as if it had been created in the normal mode. Again, I use the escape key to remove the selection. Here is a JavaView top tip. I can invert the current sequence or column selection. In the alignment window, I go to select menu and then select either invert sequence or invert column selection. All the exercises I have described in this video are available in our user manual. The manual can be viewed by going to www.jarview.org slash about slash documentation. If you want to see our other Jarview training videos, then please visit our website. Goodbye.